Welcome to Budget Express Wizards or how to create your initial budget in a couple of minutes using Budget Express. First, I would recommend you have on hand all the information relative to your budget like your bank account or credit card balances, the list of income and expenses with the frequencies and amount for each of them. Let's begin. First, you need to create your profile. Enter your surname the last name, your email address or phone number and phone number, this is optional. By default, your language will be in English, but you can change your currency to Canadian dollar by default or US dollar, or the British pound if you're in the UK. Let's say we are in US dollar, you, we will be using US dollar. So now you're in your budget screen to create your, to give your budget a name. Let's say it's a budget 2018 and more. You also need to enter a description. And you're ready to go. You can protect your budget by entering a password, but I will let the, the protection to know right now you could uh, you could check in the uh, manual how to uh, use this option for the users who had the previous version you will be able to convert your data but there will be another video online explaining how to do that so i won't convert this uh, due to the conversion on this video now the new the date the new the budget will begin at with which date that's very important because all the transactions that will be entered won't be will be at uh, from that date so let's say we're beginning at the beginning of the year 2018 if we are at the end of the year we could begin our budget next year or just select a new date if we want to in the calendar but let's say we do our budget from january january 1st click next let's start by entering our account information as you can see, Budget, Budget Express has already chosen an account. This will be the only time in the process that there will be a default subcategory chosen for you. This bank account is the main bank account. It's mandatory in Budget Express to have a main bank account. But you will be able to change it at any time. But there's always a main bank account active in the system. If you have more than one bank account, you can add other accounts. Let's say we have a joint account and I have some cash that I want to uh, keep in my budget. So I click on both of these subcategory and click on the arrow. Like you see, if you see, these three bank accounts are now a part of my account. But I need to do one thing, in, especially in this, especially for the uh, the account. It's enter their balances. So let's say let's do first the bank account, the principal bank account. I can change the, the name. If I don't like my main account, I can enter the, 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 the real account, let's say a TV bank, and enter my balance on the 1st of January. This is very important because this will create a an operation at that date for the amount uh, for $1,250. The other information are not really important right now, so they will be uh, seen in another uh, another time. So let's save this, this information. Enter the same for the joint account. Joint account. Let's say this is for the uh, national bank. And again, on the first, how much money do I have on my, in my account? Five hundred twenty-five dollars. Save. And how much cash do I have on hand on at that date? Let's say. $521.25. Save that. I will explain later how to use this big red button. Let's click next, click next and we're now in our credit operation. Now we can choose your our credit card. Let's say I got two credit cards. I can use the same subcategory as many times as I want. And again, I need to enter some information. The description. 
and again the balance at on the 1st of January. Again, the other information will be seen a little bit later. It's not really important for the in the assistant in the wizard. So let's click next and go into our income. Now you see something different because the income and expenses are separated by category. When I click on the specific category like paid advantages, all the subcategory included in the category pay and advantages will be shown so from there i can choose any and for any uh, subcategory that i want to use let's say i want to use my enter my pay i got a bonus i want to pay i want to enter another pay for my spouse again i need to enter the information related to our income let's click on the little pen this is my Payroll. I'm receiving, let's say, $450 per week. So this is really important, the frequency in here. The amount you enter, you're entering in this field will be directly related to the frequency you enter. Let's say, in my case, it's $450 every week. So what I need to choose is the frequency is win, win, one week. And I receive this income on the on the thursday so i entered the first thursday for uh, this amount that i will be receiving i don't know exactly when it's gonna finish i hope never so i'm leaving it like that the impact is where does it do will be cashed in i have a choice in which all the account that i created before are available and the credit card in, in the case of the income it's not really important the credit card but you can choose another bank account so let's say in my payroll is deposited in the national bank save bonus the bonus i receive a bonus let's let's say on christmas this is my christmas bonus Oops, mistake. i'm receiving five thousand dollars so it's once only once and I can change the month to actually I'm, I'm clicking click on the month December 25 and it's cashed directly in my primary account so this is the payroll for my spouse she's paid twice a month she's receiving $500 by monthly on the 15th and the last day of the month that's something that wasn't available in the last version so let's say she's she and she uh, receiving she's receiving $500 every 15th and the last day of the month and I, again I don't know exactly when it's gonna finish and it's cashed directly in the primary account let's save that click next to go into the expenses first you probably notice that there's a uh, exclamation point available right here this will direct you direct you directly to the online help for the wizard it's available on each category or each page well you notice that the in the expense you, i don't i have a lot of category so every category is available right here when i click on a category it will open to show all the subcategories that's part of a, a specific category this liaison is really important and it's mandatory in, in budget express 5.0 every subcategory is related to a specific category you will be able to modify all this information if you need uh, directly in the settings menu that you, that you will see in the uh, uh, afterwards so we can choose uh, a couple of uh, expenses i won't go too far because for the uh, for this video i will uh, choose a couple of uh, expense like let's say the groceries uh, the internet uh, 
my telephone and I have also for my family I got my channel expense like you you probably noticed that I I have not used the arrow yet I don't need to do it every single time I choose a specific subcategory I can do it at the end if I want to let's say I play uh, sports and I need some maintenance on my own now I can click and you can see that all the different subcategories that I had chosen before are uh, are part of my expense screen. Another thing that I have not explained: the trash can at the end of the the line. The trash can is just to uh, if you made a mistake and chosen by chosen a subcategory that you don't really need. Let's say I I don't do sports anymore, so I I can just click on a trash can and it's go it's gone away. So it's still part of the laser right here, but it's not part of my expense, so I won't need to enter any information in it. So again, another thing we can do is enter the same subcategory as many times as we want. Let's say groceries. I want to different, differentiate my groceries from, let's say I will enter information. Let's say I go to Costco. I want to differentiate that cost me $500 per month and I go usually the last Sunday Saturday of the month and it's paid by my Visa card no it's MasterCard in Costco $500 and I want to differentiate when I go to uh, let's say Metro Metro it cost me $250 a week so I change the frequency again and I go on Fridays so every Friday the amount will be planned to $250 and will be paid by my Visa card save that let's continue internet from Bell I paid $99 a month on the 31st it's paid by my primary account my phone $95 a month it's paid on the 22nd from a primary account again my child expense that's a uh, what we call a variable expense because we don't really know exactly how much it will cost me for the for the month it changes every month so let's say we enter an amount $250 and at the end of the month only I will know exactly how much it will will have cost me so what I could do is I could change the planned amount from the 250 to the the, the real amount the actual amount that uh, has been spent or I can use a reconciliation to enter the actual amount from my directly from my bank account or credit card so uh, this will be part of another video to to, uh, or you can use the online help to know exactly how does it work to reconcile do the re reconcile sorry the information from your bank account or credit card and on maintenance I will use another frequency no maintenance what I, I do is uh, it cost me like $65 but sometimes sometimes means I don't I, he, he comes to uh, to the home to do some some work but I don't know exactly when but I can enter like on the 17th I think it's gonna be on this date uh, and you can you can see that the amount that I entered uh, in the header is repeated directly on each date but I can change it if I know on the on my in March it cost me a lot more when he comes so do the home maintenance cost me 120 I can change it right away and I can save now I told you before that I would explain how to use this transaction add-on this is to add a new subcategory that is not available in your uh, list right now there's a lot of subcategories so 
I would uh, suggest that you look at every single category and subcategory to know if there it's not it's not already uh, part of the system. But if it's not, you can use this uh, add a transaction button to create a new one. This button is available on each screen that we have seen before the bank account credit and income and when we click on the red arrow in the income for example you will you will create a new income subcategory let's say we are now in the expense subcategory i want to create a new subcategory because the list that's available right here is the same list that's available on the left panel that you just uh, you just saw so it's not you wouldn't uh, and you wouldn't uh, use this uh, in this part of the uh, of the wizard so let's create a new subcategories first of all you need to know exactly in which category will be part this new expense because like i said before every single subcategory is related to a category this will help a lot when it will be time to analyze your data Let's say it's I need a service for a, law, a lawyer. I won't tell you why. Now enter a description, the name of the firm, for example, oh, firm, firm, and you can add a new picture from the list available from Budget Express. Just click on this logo, and you got a whole list. 21 page of logos you can choose from let's say i want to use this one select add you see that i've created a new subcategory can enter the amount it will cost me 450 dollars only once at the end of the month on january 31st and it will be paid by my primary account just save so that's how i create new account uh, new subcategory sorry for every single operation if i need to like i said there's hundreds of available subcategories already in budget express let's click next to finish our work this is the last step if i click on finish i will be redirected directly into the calendar to see the information that I just entered but if I have not finished I can use the back button and go back to the expense or income or whatever operation I need to uh, to add because it's important because if I click on finish that's the last time we will be able to use the wizard for this particular budget if you create a new budget it will always be available but for this particular budget that I just created when I click finish that's it it's uh, we'll go to the calendar and we continue our all work so just click on finish it takes a couple of seconds we're now into the calendar and now it will be time to uh, continue our work to continue our budget to see the analysis enter a new operation do our reconciliation etc but this will be part of other videos and uh, everything everything we just uh, worked on is available on the online help so thank you very much for your time